there is an alternative path through life. When the first human being crawled out of the first cave, she immediately was encountered with a fundamental question. How do I live a life? And I affirm that you are here tonight because you may also be encountering that question. How do I live a life? Each, each of the great wisdom traditions emerged as an effort to order and provide guidance to that question, how do I live a life? And more personally, how do I live my life? My one unique, unrepeatable life in time and space and physicality. How do I live my life? Well, the great wisdom traditions drank from a really deep well, the same well. And it's that same well that this curriculum attempts to point us to once again as we journey together to answer that question. Today, we have a little bit of a problem, maybe a big problem, as a human family and as Village Earth. And that problem has to do with the fact that the source we are going to for guidance and order in regards to that question is Madison Avenue or Wall Street or Hollywood or Washington DC or these addictive little screens that many times a day can tell me how many likes I got or how many followers I have today or not by which I assess am I okay. And the challenge with those sources is that they are self-serving sources and they do not acknowledge a deeper realm to the question, how do I live a life? Joseph Campbell liked to say that I'm not looking for the meaning of life? No. I'm looking for the experience of being alive. Throughout human history, there have always been a small segment of the human family who were nobodies. And these nobodies were almost always nurtured by one of those great wisdom traditions. But these nobodies became practitioners of <coughs> intimacy with the infinite. These practitioners chose and choose today to practice their connection and their entanglement with the ultimate, with the universal, with the deep. If we are to renew society, once again, we have to give birth to that consciousness. It, were, it was the great wisdom traditions that provided the foundation for all culture in every corner of the globe. 
They provided the foundation for the economic distribution systems and political discourse and human morality and human education and how we human beings choose to relate to the physical planet and our environment. Today, we're getting our guidance from Disney World. The mystery-centered path through life is not the popular path. The human-centered path through life appears to be to make a lot of sense. It appears to make a lot of sense and it is certainly going to be reinforced as the popular response. But that path cannot transform consciousness and therefore cannot transform society. If we are to renew our politics, our economics, our education, our morality, our relationship to the environment, we have to get connected once again to the deep place.